wants to continue to do. Well, making the scene tonight, you may not be familiar with his face yet, but you definitely know his car. He's got his hands literally all over Hollywood with classic cars, movie appearances, the list goes on and on. I'm talking about George Francis. Thanks for stopping by the scene. Thanks for George. having me. Well, let's talk about the most thing that I was most familiar about you with, Dukes of Hazard. Dukes of Hazard. What is your Dukes of Hazard tie-in? Well, I, I have a General Lee, and uh, as we uh, covered on New York Carolina a while back, uh, I, I did the, uh, the, the long story short is the producers were looking for the Dixie horn for their car because none of the cars had the horns. So uh, they ended up uh, finding my website and using my car's horn for that. And it ended up in the Jesse Simpson MTV video. Uh, these boots were made for walking. Right. It ended up in the movie and it ended up on all the little remote control cars. I, it would have been. I just wish I could have got like a dollar royalty off of that. Right, you know, that would have been awesome. Well, you should have ended up on MTV because you're no stranger to playing music and instruments too, right? Yeah, I've, I've, I play music for a living. That's my real job. And uh, uh, I recently did America's Got Talent, which uh, is hosted by Nick Cannon. Right. And uh, got on there and, and got to see a whole bunch of people <laughs> wanting the same thing, you know. And it's like, well, am I ready for this? Am I not? But. Uh, it, it, it was a fun trip. It was it was in New York City. Are we going to see you on? Well, actually, well, I've already been. I was already on last oh, week, okay. like two or three places. Uh, okay. Uh, you see me in the background, and 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 uh, I was uh, put into a room full of callback people. Right. Basically, this is the story yeah. about uh, Americans. America's Got Talent right. is. Uh, they pick people that they know are really, really bad so they can X them off, right? Ah. And then they pick uh, people that are really outrageous and out there, and some really neat musicians and different acts and somewhere I fit in the middle of that talent well, see, spectrum. See, that's good. That means that so. you're not too crazy and you're not too bad, so no. that's good. Well, George, you'll have to stay and keep us informed on everything that's going on. Because be great. The Upstate's lucky to have you. So thank you for stopping by the scene. Don't worry, we're not done yet because the gloves are coming off. George, you're going to stick with us in the main event. Plus, a dress that could hold the secret to a successful marriage. Woo! Available at your local lottery retailer. Well, welcome back to Scene on 7 here to Loft at Michelin on Main. And our main event is the place to vent your opinion. Just go someplace else for fair and balance. Our guests will be laying out their views and they might even throw a few punches or two at the news of the day. And we are joined by Paul Bailey. He's a former Greenville Growl player and now Higgins Bailey and Wealth Management. Thank you so much, Paul. And George Francis, we liked you so much. We wanted you to stick around for another Thank segment. Thank you. We're so, back. Yes, you're back. Well, first off, our event the runoff elections tomorrow, June 22nd. <laughs> we haven't seen as many political ads, I feel like, you know, from leading up to, to the big one. Are y'all ready for this whole thing to be over? Do you think people's gonna show up tomorrow? Paul, what are you? Uh, you know what, I, I think it's time to be over. You know, <laughs> and I think one of the differences with this one, I think they talk about there's, there's been no, you know, slinging, no slam, right. no bad things, which, you know, what, even, I don't think that stuff works anymore anyways because everybody does it. They try to find some little piece of dirt that someone did 30 years ago and uh, you know, try to try to make that effect, you know, make the other person look bad. Well, I mean, I'd focus more on making yourself look good. Yeah, how, here's an idea. How about we actually hear what you're going to be fighting exactly. for? <laughs> Let's see what this issue. And, and the Nikki Haley issue with, uh, you know, the, the this stuff would have taken out any other candidate, and uh, especially with the recent uh, scandal with the, the current South Carolina governor. Right. Sure. And it, it turns out that, you know, having someone that they possibly think is behind it. Is, is he behind it? Is he not Andre Bauer? And right. have him be out of the race. Uh, I, says, I think that says a lot for South Carolina and vo the voters. Where we are, because that as, is as the well main as, race yeah. you know, for tomorrow that a lot of people are following is the Barrett-Haley thing. And you know, I kind of am surprised because I thought first after the whole Sanford thing that when this Nikki Haley thing came out, I was like, she's done. There's she's no done. way South Carolina There's no way she can recover again. from this. And, and, and it usually takes out men. Yeah. Well, well, that's she got Sarah Palin's vote of confidence, so I think that's, yeah, that's that all you need, right? That's all you need now. <laughs> you and let's all remember, she can see Russia from her backyard. There we go. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> that is true. Well, the next topic, he has been in the news. He, you know, the Joran Vander Salute. He's been accused. Whenever you think of Natalie Holloway, you think of him. It hasn't come out that, you know, he has, you know, done anything. I mean, people pretty much think that he is the main suspect now. You know, he has confessed to killing the Peruvian girl, then he came back and said, actually, I, I didn't kill her, I was just bullied into saying that. Paul, I mean, this guy, I, I just, you know, I, of course, I don't know him personally, I think he's just a monster, like, what in the world? Well, when you're accused of something by two different people and two different continents, 
you yeah. know, it, it's kind of, uh, th there's got to be some kind of link there. It's not like, you know, he's linked to both people. Right. So there's, I would think, based on that alone, there's got to be some truth to it and definitely worth investigating. And it sounds like he's not, not all right up there upstairs. Obviously, you've got to be to murder somebody. Well, but, right, well, but that's the When cord. your mother comes out and says he needs psychiatric help, and but he didn't get it, that's, you know, I, I, that's kind of setting it up for the uh, temporary insanity card, too, I think. Who, who knows? I guess we'll have to wait and see how it plays out. Is that, and that's kind of the card that they are playing. The lawyers are saying he needs help. He is insane, you know, because that will kind of dictate how his punishment is. I don't know what the connection is, but, and the whole thing about to the day, to the day that uh, Natalie H Holloway was missing or murdered, that this all comes out. And, uh, and I don't know if anybody's familiar with the rest of the news that goes around this whole situation, but it seems like he tried to make a kind of a fast getaway. He was, he was out of that hotel, uh, then he, he took several cabs. But one of the things you don't do, people, right. is when you're accused of killing somebody or you possibly murdered somebody, don't use your name. I mean, the guy used his name with all the cab companies. That was one thing, how they tracked him down. Uh, they, he, he had, uh, I think he was scheduled to take off somewhere, like on a, on a plane right, or something right. somewhere. Well, but maybe another uh, sign that maybe he is not all. Crime just doesn't pay. It does, well, it doesn't. Because he was the last guy to be, he was linked, he was one of the last people yes, to see Holloway alive. Yeah. Going in. So right. it's, it's, there's a definite link well, there. Well, moving on to a, a lighter subject, Paul, you know, a student former athlete, and you obviously with the Greenville Growl. World Cup, the soccer, the mania. Oh, sports. <laughs> you know, going on. <laughs> George, feel free to sit this one out if you want to. One thing, you know, the, the ref, the U.S., we could have beaten um, the last team, but they took the goal back. So we ended up tying, you know, 2-2. Two, two, and now this, this ref is, you know, he's not getting to go to the next one. Is it, you know, there is no replay. It's all human judgment. One, do you think that's a good idea for soccer? Well, in all sports, there never used to be replay. Right. Didn't used to replay in hockey, didn't used to be in football. You know, now they have it in baseball. But it, it's part of the game where there are going to be mistakes made. It's unfortunate. That, you know, you, you can't get around human error. It, it is what it is. Um, however, all the other sports have gone to it. Uh, but the other thing, though, too, is that the goal was supposedly called back for a foul. Is that what they were saying a originally? A foul or an offside. Where or I don't know of any sport where a penalty is an instant replay. In hockey or football, you can't go back and say that guy was holding or that right. was a tripping penalty. So it would be a moot point anyways. Yeah. But I think it's time to get on board with, you know, the the technology that's available to try to get the calls correct because there's huge implications. Right. Well, my you know, thing is I just want them to quit ending in a tie. How about that? Yeah. 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 And, and while I'm not that familiar with the story, I am familiar with instant replay and, and errors and judgment like you had this recent baseball thing where the guy was going to have a perfect Part game that exactly. night Correct. and called him out or safe or whichever. You got it. Him safe, and, yeah. uh, so, you know, where do you go from here and at what point does the technology take over the game? It's not baseball anymore if it's run so, by all these computers, it's not basketball. That's true blah, blah, as well. Blah. That's a very good point. It's something for us to think about. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thanks for having Did us. Did we get you thinking at home? If you have anything that you want to share, go to our website, seenon7.com. You never know, you could find yourself right here in the main event. Well, stick around. We've got more World Cup action on the way and some of the soccer theatrics, well, they're straight ahead. But first, check out these snapshots from over the weekend. Tonight. Don't you know that girl?